Hola, que tal? How are you? It's Sherry here from La Fera, the children's English book market in Barcelona. And it is story time. Demon Teddy by Nicholas Allen. Come on, story time. Katie was a shy little girl. Dominic said she was stupid. Stupid! Dominic was a sneaky little boy, but Miss Bird thought he was perfect. Katie knew the right answers, but wasn't always sure. Dominic was sure of everything. I'm pretty terrific actually. Katie was often lonely. We're off to Borneo this summer, bragged Dominic. One day, she brought a wonderful teddy bear who talked to her. My name's Fluffy. Will you be my friend? I like to be hugged. Guess how much I love you. She took him to school. Dominic said she was soppy. Soppy! That day was Miss Bird's birthday. She had a new bag. Please, Miss Bird, said Dominic. Can you show us your new knickers? went Fluffy suddenly. <gasps> and everyone thought it was Dominic. The head gave Miss Bird a huge bunch of flowers. Gosh, Miss Bird, said Dominic. You've got a great big bottom, went Fluffy. <gasps> and everyone thought it was Dominic. Later, Miss Bird asked, If a man eats 10 cakes and then eats 90 cakes, what would that make? Please, Miss Bird, Dominic put up his hands. It would make a great big poo, went Fluffy. <gasps> and everyone thought it was Dominic. Dominic didn't dare say another word, so Katie did. Please, Miss Bird, it would make a hundred cakes. Well done, Katie, Miss Bird said. That afternoon was a school outing. Katie told some jokes and everyone laughed. Soon she had lots of friends. So Dominic decided, with Fluffy's help, he'd teach them all a lesson. Dominic said, I think you lot are all a load of angels, went Fluffy, <laughs> and everyone thought it was Dominic. What a sweet boy, they said. When it was time to clear up, Miss Bird asked, Who's going to help? Dominic said, I'm not. Busy, went Fluffy, and everyone thought it was Dominic. Sweet, kind boy, they all said. And before long, Dominic had some friends too. But then Katie saw Dominic with Fluffy. Give him back, she cried. No, he said. So she hit him. Sorry, went Fluffy. And Dominic thought it was Katie. Sorry went Fluffy, and Katie thought it was Dominic. So Katie said, will you be my friend? And Dominic said, well, all right. And Katie said, shall we go and play then? And Dominic said, yes, let's go and play. And this time, Fluffy didn't have to say anything at all. Demon Teddy by Nicholas Allen And don't you go saying all those naughty things that Teddy said, otherwise someone will get a shock and they'll look like this. Ah! 
Let's hear all the nice things that Demon Teddy said to Katie. My name's Fluffy. Will you be my friend? I like to be hugged. Guess how much I love you. Did you see Dominic's face when Katie made lots of friends? Let's have a closer look at it. Someone looks very grumpy indeed, don't they? And Katie, she's happy. She's made lots of friends. Even though Katie was very angry, it still wasn't nice of her to hit Dominic. Ouch! But I'm so happy that they all became good friends at the end, aren't you? So that was Storytelling with Sherry and Demon Teddy. Hope you all liked it. See you again next time. Bye, adios, and say goodbye Demon Teddy. Bye bye Demon Teddy.